Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today's problem we have is this vehicle, the customer pulls into a gas station, they put their fuel um, hose into the vehicle and they can get in there about 10 cents worth of fuel before it keeps clicking off and as they squeeze the trigger it clicks off and clicks off. So to put gas in this vehicle you got to actually sit there and play with it. Most attendants won't even do it but the owner will play with the, uh, with the nozzle to try to get the fuel to, to actually fill up the fuel tank. Uh, so it could take them forever to fill up this gas tank. So I'm going to show you now how to diagnose what the problem is and how to go about repairing it. But before we do anything I'm going to bring you underneath here and I'm going to show you what this looks like right now. Okay. The problem we have is that, uh, as you see, this vehicle has a significant amount of rust on it. So I've got to get in here and I've got to actually check to see what's going on in here. But the problem I have, and look at the shape of these hoses here, I'm afraid to touch anything because it's going to start falling apart. Now you will see that it's wet underneath here, and the reason that it's wet is because I sprayed everything down really well with some penetrating oil now and uh, hopefully being able to, to get some of this, uh, these bolts to move without a problem. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do before we do anything is, uh, hopefully you can see this okay here. Okay. This is your actual fill right here where you're filling fuel into the gas tank. Right here you can see where it goes into the tank. And then this is the, the vent hose right up here, which actually, um, when, there's, when there's fuel going into the tank, obviously air is going to make its way out because the fuel is filling up where the air is actually inside the tank and it's got to pump it out. The problem is, years ago, you could, um, you could let this vent to the outside. Today, you can't do that. Today, it needs to go through this charcoal canister here first uh, to, to separate any of the fuel particles in there. Um, I've seen it quite a few times before where up inside here uh, this hose gets fuel into it, the fuel gets down inside the canister and the, and the fuel in the canister destroys everything inside there and it creates like, um, like all the tiny little like uh, carbon particles inside there. It's all the carbon from inside the canister coming apart. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get in here with a pair of pliers. We're going to take these hoses off here and we're going to pull these hoses back so we can see what happens inside there. I've had this many times before where this hose fills up with these tiny little um, uh, BBs or, or carbon particles that are inside there. So let's pull this off and uh, let's see what's going to happen, all right? Okay, before we pull that off, I just want to point out one thing to you. One very important thing is when you pull into a gas station and the gas pump kicks off, don't let the attendant keep forcing fuel into it because they're going to try to top it up or round it off to the nearest dollar or whatever. Don't do that because what happens is the, the fuel backs up inside the canister itself, starts to eat up the canister and it starts to fall apart internally and that's when all of these little tiny uh, carbon particles wind up inside the valve, the, the vent valve, or they wind up clogging up that hose that goes up as a vent up to the, to the top uh, by the gas tank area. So, uh, all right, let's get underneath there and uh, let's get started. Hopefully this, uh, this comes apart without breaking. Uh, otherwise, if it starts breaking, you're gonna see a grown man start crying. So, all right, let's get in there and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna get in here with a pair of pliers. We're gonna take this little clamp here off now you want to be real careful because this stuff starts breaking and you really don't want to start changing stuff if you don't have to. Just get in here with a pair of pliers, just give it a little twist. And you'll see it move. And it just twists it a little bit. And we'll get in here with a little screwdriver and we're going to pry that hose out just a little bit. Like I said, be careful. You don't want to break it. There you go. See all these little pellets that fell out of here? What happens is all those little pellets that you saw fall out, 
they clog up inside here, and you cannot get the, uh, the, the, the it clogs the hose up. So of course, when that, when that pressure builds up, it's got nowhere to go, it can't go into the canister, it comes out and keep, keeps kicking it off. So let me get in there with a little scribe. I'm gonna see what we can pull out of there, I'm curious. If it's true to form, we're gonna find a bunch of crap inside, I mean stuff in there. See all these little pieces? All these little pallets that are in there? They're falling out. All that stuff, it's just, it just dis disintegrates inside here. All of the uh, pallets in here are, are clogging it up. So, all right, let me, uh, it's, I'm gonna have to take off this canister here. So I sprayed up everything already. I knew it was actually gonna be pretty, pretty uh, rusty in here. So let's just, you know, before we go any further, let's make a phone call. We are gonna change that canister because you never should get all of this crap. All of these pellets falling out in here. We should never, never get this stuff falling out of there. So we know that that canister is no good. So, uh, all right, let me make a phone call. We'll get the new canister sent in and then we'll come back and we'll take it apart. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take off the other hoses now. We'll take this canister down and we'll see what happens. So now just so you know, I am gonna, I am gonna go in here and I am gonna shoot air through here to make sure that this is clear here. I'm gonna take this other end off here so I can actually see up inside there. But I am gonna shoot air in there to make sure that this tube right here is totally clear as well. All right, so now we're gonna take out those rusty screws in there. So uh, let's see what happens. Before I take this down the rest of the way, I am going to take off these hoses right here as well. This is where we're going to run into a kind of a problem because of the rusting on here, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, now that we have this over on the bench, you can see all these little tiny BBs that come out of here, little pellets. That's not a normal thing because all of that, all of that, those pellets get inside the, uh, the, um, the tubing that you saw connected on here and it clogs it all up and it keeps it from, uh, from flowing properly. Um, now, I am going to take off this valve because it does not come with a new valve, the canister. Uh, hopefully this valve is going to be okay when I take this off. We're going to look inside here to make sure that there's no uh, no little pieces like this inside these tubes right here. These bolts here, underneath here, they're extremely rusty. So we're going to have a bit of a problem trying to get these off of here because they're, they're in really pretty poor condition there, you can see. So I may have to cut these off on the other side with a whizzer, but we'll see how it goes. turning, but it's turning on the other side here, so we are definitely going to have an issue. So I'm not going to bore you with how to do this, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here with a cutter and I'm going to cut these pieces off here, and uh, we'll have to, uh, you know, do to reattach it some other way. So let me, uh, let me do that and then uh, we'll come right back. 
as you can see, um, it didn't come apart as anticipated. But I just want to show you this now. See all those things falling out of there? All of that stuff clogged up the hose. And as you can see, working on it, it looks like rabbit, not rabbit, it looks like mouse poop or whatever. But that's what was inside there. This is the new one. We put it back in already. As you can see, all the bolts snapped off. So that's why I didn't, uh, didn't film this because I had to actually cut everything out and then re reinstall the uh, you know bolts into it to hold it all back together so all right um, that's pretty much it let's uh, let's put it back in the car okay well as you can see by what I showed you on the bench over there sometimes things don't go according to plan especially when they get older and everything gets a little bit rusty but you have to adapt to it and you have to do the best you can to get the job done and out the door okay I'm not going to bore you with uh, putting the uh, the uh, canister back in the car you're just going to reverse a procedure that you actually use to take it back out and that, as you can see, it actually is very common. So all I'm going to tell you is that when, when, you're, when your gas tank is full, don't force in additional fuel to keep clicking the nozzle to try to get it to, to top off the tank or round it off to the nearest dollar. When it kicks off, it's done. All right, so that's it. We put it back together, get some gas in this thing, and it's out the door and on to the next one. All right, any questions or comments? You want to talk to me about anything? Send me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. And as you can tell, sometimes things just don't go according to plan.